Ever wondered how you can grow dragon fruit without a garden? Welcome to a world where the unconventional meets the fruitful. We're going to explore the unique method of cultivating dragon fruit using something as simple and readily available as old tires. It's an unexpected pairing, but one that's packed with potential and benefits. This method is not only sustainable, but also incredibly productive, giving you an abundance of fruits. Stay tuned to find out how you can turn an old tire into a thriving dragon fruit plant. Before we get started, it's essential to understand what dragon fruits are and why they're worth growing. Originating from Central America, but now grown worldwide, dragon fruits or pitaya are the vibrant spiky fruits of a type of cactus. Their unique look and sweet taste have won many hearts, but it's not just about their taste or exotic appeal. Dragon fruit is a nutritional powerhouse packed with antioxidants, vitamin C and fiber. It's also low in calories, making it a perfect addition to any health conscious diet. Growing dragon fruit at home has its perks too. They are hardy plants that can thrive in various conditions, making them a fantastic choice for home gardening. Plus, they produce fruits multiple times a year, so you'll always have a fresh supply. Now that we know why dragon fruit is a must have, let's dive into how we can grow it in tires. First things first, gather the necessary materials. The beauty of this method is the simplicity of the items required. To begin, we need a tire. Any old tire will do. It doesn't have to be new or in excellent condition. This tire will serve as our garden bed, an innovative solution for those who lack traditional garden space. Next, we need soil. A rich, well-draining soil is ideal for dragon fruit plants. You can either purchase a potting mix from your local garden store or make your own using compost, peat moss and perlite. The star of our project is of course a dragon fruit cutting. You can obtain this from a mature dragon fruit plant. Ensure it's healthy and free from any disease or damage. Finally, we can't forget about water. A good watering can will be just the trick for keeping our future dragon fruit plant hydrated. Now that we have our materials, we can begin the planting process. The first step is to prepare the tire. So let's roll up our sleeves and get into it. To start off, it's essential to clean the tire thoroughly. We want to make sure our tire is free from any dirt, grime or chemicals that might hinder the growth of our dragon fruit plant. You can use a mild detergent mixed with water to scrub the tire inside and out. Rinse it well and let it dry completely before moving on to the next step. Next, it's time to fill our tire with soil. But not just any soil. Dragon fruit plants love well-draining soil, so we're going to create a mix that provides exactly that. Combine two parts, garden soil with one part sand and one part compost. This blend will ensure that our dragon fruit plant has all the nutrients it needs while also providing excellent drainage. Once you've mixed your soil, it's time to fill up the tire. Pour the soil into the tire until it's about three quarters full. You might be wondering why we're not filling it up all the way. Well, that's because we need to leave some room for the dragon fruit cutting and additional soil that we'll be adding later. Now that our tire is filled with soil, we're going to prepare it for planting. This involves creating a small hole in the center of the soil where our dragon fruit cutting will be planted. Make the hole deep enough to cover the bottom half of the cutting. And there we have it. Our tire is now ready for planting. It's cleaned, filled with nutrient rich soil and primed for the arrival of our dragon fruit cutting. It's amazing to think that this recycled tire is about to become the home of a thriving dragon fruit plant, don't you think? With the tire ready, we can now plant our dragon fruit cutting. In the next scene, we'll get our hands dirty as we dive into the planting process. Stay tuned, because this is where the real fun begins. Now comes the exciting part, planting the dragon fruit. The process is simple, but requires precision and care. Let's dive into the step-by-step -step process. First things first, you want to make sure you've got your dragon fruit cutting at the ready. This is going to be the heart of your plant, so treat it gently. Now take your prepared tire. It's already filled with a rich mix of soil and compost, all set to nourish your dragon fruit plant. To plant the cutting, create a hole in the center of the soil. The hole should be deep enough to comfortably accommodate about two thirds of the cutting. Remember, this isn't a seed we're planting, it's a cutting, so we need a good amount of it to be in the soil to ensure it roots properly. Once the hole is ready, gently place the dragon fruit cutting into the hole. Make sure it's standing upright. Now fill the space around the cutting with some more soil, firming it gently but firmly with your hands. The goal is to provide enough support so that the cutting stands upright. 
Now that your cutting is planted, it's time for the first watering. Watering a newly planted cutting is a bit different from watering an established plant. You want to ensure the soil is thoroughly moist, but not waterlogged. So go slow and steady. Pour water around the base of the cutting, making sure the water is absorbed into the soil. After watering, give your new plant some time to adjust. You've just introduced it to a new home after all. In the coming days, keep an eye on the cutting and soil. Keep the soil moist, but avoid overwatering. It's a delicate balance, but with patience and observation, you'll find the sweet spot. With the dragon fruit planted, it's time to discuss how to care for it. This is a crucial stage in the plant's life, and you're going to play a big role in its success. So let's get ready to give this dragon fruit the best care possible. A dragon fruit plant in a tire requires some special care. Now that we've planted our dragon fruit, let's dive into how we can provide the best conditions for its growth and help it thrive. Firstly, watering. The dragon fruit plant is a type of cactus and like most cacti, it doesn't need a lot of water. Overwatering can lead to root rot and other problems. So how often should you water your dragon fruit plant? Well, during the growing season, which is usually from spring to early fall, water it once every two weeks. However, in the cooler months, cut back to watering just once a month. Next, let's talk about sunlight. Dragon fruit plants love the sun. They need around six to eight hours of full sun each day. So place your tire where it will get plenty of natural light. But remember, while they love sunlight, they can get sunburned if the light is too intense. If you notice the skin turning yellow or white, it might be getting too much sun. Now, on to pruning. Pruning is necessary for a couple of reasons. It helps to keep the plant manageable and promotes better fruit production. Pruning should be done in the late winter or early spring, before the new growth starts. Cut back the branches that are growing out of control and any that look unhealthy. Lastly, let's not forget about feeding our dragon fruit plant. Use a balanced fertilizer, preferably one that's high in nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. Fertilize it once a month during the growing season and every other month during the off-season. In summary, caring for your dragon fruit plant involves regular watering, but not overwatering, providing plenty of sunlight but not too much, pruning for growth control and health, and regular feeding with a balanced fertilizer. By following these care instructions, you'll soon have a thriving dragon fruit plant. The final step, and the most rewarding, is harvesting your dragon fruit. It's an exhilarating moment, holding the fruit of your labor in your hands. Yet you might wonder, how do you know when it's the perfect time to harvest? Well, that's simple. You'll notice the dragon fruit skin transitioning from a bright green to a vibrant red or yellow, depending on the variety you're growing. It's a fascinating transformation, almost like watching a sunset. Additionally, the bracts, those leaf-like structures on the fruit, will start to wither and dry, signaling that the fruit is ripe and ready to be plucked. Now, when it comes to harvesting, it's essential to be gentle. You don't want to yank the fruit off the stem. Instead, hold the fruit firmly and twist it slightly. It should come off easily. If it doesn't, give it a couple more days. Once harvested, your dragon fruit is ready to be enjoyed. Slice it open to reveal the white or red flesh dotted with tiny black seeds. It's a real treat both visually and gastronomically. Remember, patience is key in this journey from tire to table. With a dash of dedication and a sprinkle of care, you'll have a tire full of dragon fruits in no time. And there you have it. You've just learned how to grow dragon fruit in a tire. Happy gardening.